Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Bomberman 64, the second attack. In the last episode, we started playing the game, met this annoying fellow, and fought an annoying boss, Bale Vale. And in this episode, we're gonna blow this thing up. Yay! And what does this do? Well, it makes that stop piping, for some reason. We did it, Bomberman! Now we should be able to go deeper into the sewer tunnels! Oh, joy. Well, who's this girl? The Scourge of the Spaceways, Lilith! Hi! Hi there! Hehe, <laughs> don't worry, my name is Lilith! I was kidnapped by the BHB army just like you! Well, I, why didn't I see you in the prison cells? Yeah. Lilith's cute! Hi there, little fellow! Yeah. Pommy's name is Pommy! Nice to meet you, Pommy. And what's your name? Ha! ha! Bomberman, eh? Glad to meet you! Bomberman waves. Say, would you mind if I asked you a question? Are you the ones who beat Bale Fail? Did you are? Did you, did you see if he was carrying a glowing jewel? I'm trying to find the jewels the knights are supposed to have. He did not have a jewel, but I have a jewel. He didn't have anything. That would mean they haven't found them yet either. But if that's true, then where? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind me. Just talking to myself. Thanks, Barman. Thank you too, Pommy. I'm going to go see if I can find those jewels. If you want to get out of this black hole, you need to go to the center of this planet and destroy the gravity generator. The BHB army created this black hole to suck in planets. And then they use the energy from those planets to maintain the black hole. At the center of each planet is one of their gravity generators. And if you can destroy the, all of them, you might be able to get out of here. Thanks, Lilith. We'll look for those machines. Alright then, I guess we'll see you around. Bye-bye! Yo, mine! Okay. Boy, Lilith sure was cute, wasn't she? Hey, Barman, maybe those jewels Lilith mentioned are like your Firestone. Ellipses! Barman, are you listening? Uh-oh, looks like Barman's got something else on his mind. You just met her. Dear God. Pommy Mun wonders if we'll be alright. Also, she did nothing. She just jumped down and was like, Hey, did you do it? You did? Okay. And that's that. Anyways, there's nothing really down here now that the water's gone. The ladder, but there we go. Alright. Also, I think I'm moving fast because I picked up a boot power-up, so I guess that's a thing that exists. So now we just need to wait, make a move back, go back to where we were. And it's not that hard. Um... That's a power-up that re Why is there a power-up that gets rid of your bombing ability? That feels very... That wasn't in... That's, there's nothing like that in the main s series... In the main games of... Bo in the main bar in case before, so why is that in this game? I don't know, there's a lot of weird design choices in this game. There's a lot of good ones, definitely. Like, I never really mentioned it, but like, there's a thing where you can grab... Where if you're walking off a ledge and then suddenly you immediately go back the other direction, you can grab onto the ledge, and like, that would have saved me a lot of trouble in Barman 64 1. But, like, and, like, the health bars is nice. It, tell it tells you how much damage enemies enemies can take. That's a nice touch. There are a lot of nice touches. Really, it's just, the problem is there's also a lot of weird touches that don't really, that didn't really need to happen, but they happened anyway. Ow. And 
my biggest problem with the whole typical Bomberman like cross pla cl cr cross motion is that I don't think that really works well in a three-dimensional space like this. That worked in the 2D Bombermans. And while this is kind of on a 2D plane, yes, it hardly qualifies as the same thing. Because we're in a 3D space. When we have diagonal movement, we should have diagonal explosions too, and the explosions are really big. Like seriously, I would have to pump up a bomb in the original Bomberman to get an explosion that even remotely is like this. I don't know what I just did. But I'm flashing now. I guess that was an invisibility thing? I don't know. Oh, I need to kill you all the way down there? Uh... Screw you two. Ow. Also, the money I'm collecting that is down there, it's a thing used later. Just so you know, it's not a useless thing. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Ooh, my control stick froze for a second. There's a hard block in the way we can't get through! Perhaps if there was a push block around here. You can use push blocks to climb on, or to push switches, you know? I remember when I got this game... Ugh. Back in back at Christmas, I was like, I tested out the game for for a little brief time. That was the that was the first file that you saw earlier, and I got stuck here because I couldn't figure out what I was meant to do. And I'm pretty certain I skipped through Pommy's dialogue. But you're just supposed to do this. So, yep, it, it doesn't really, I don't know, it tells you about push blocks, but at the same time I think it's kind of a very silly thing that they did, that's like, especially with the perspective of that room, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, I got another bad thing, although considering how much, how many times I get hit by fire, it's probably a good thing to not be all fiery. all the money. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't know. I just... I really don't feel like the... Ow. I don't feel like the... this... Oh, the sandal slows you down. Okay, that's good to know. It's annoying that there's negative power-ups, man. What kind of game does negative power-ups? Like, I would expect that in a multiplayer thing, maybe, but the main game? That just feels unnecessary. I don't know. Oh, I blew that up. I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. Uh, okay, that... Stop, okay. I don't know what that's gonna do. There's a big block way up there! Even if you destroy it, you won't be able to get the item. Maybe you can use a bomb to help you jump up there? Yep, bomb jumping is also in this game. See? It just... The kind of gameplay that this game has just doesn't feel like it works with old-school Bomberman style bombs. I really miss the radius ones. I really miss the round ones. They made sense. And they were easier to hit with. That's also an important thing. They were easier to hit with without hurting yourself at the same time. Well, it's a good thing that the, that thing was aiming for Bobby. Get up, Marmorant! Okay. And also, you always need to kill every enemy in the room before you can move around. So that's a frustration. I don't know. I like this game, but 
is there is just these there are just these frustrations that come with it. Unfortunate. I feel like the whole God damn it. Get up, get up, get up, damn it. Farmman doesn't get up because the, the control stick sucks. That's the fault of the N64 and not this, though. But, yeah. Well, now we hit that switch. So now that door is open. So now we need to backtrack again. I really don't like this first level, to be honest. It's just kind of frustration. Also, we need to hit the switch again. I don't like that the rooms reload every single time. It wouldn't be so bad if you, if you didn't have to backtrack like you do. At least I get my hearts back. Don't want the sandal, because that slows me down, because I guess sandals are bad. I don't know, it's Hudson, what do you want from me? I was talking about bomb jumping, and that's... Well... Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay. This is annoying. What the hell did I- why? Okay. That took that path for some reason. I don't even know what's up there, I just- I need to get a, a hang of bomb jumping again, so... That way. Get up, Iron Man. I'm spinning the control stick! I don't see why I'm not getting up there. And now I'm down. Okay. I think I can do this with just one, actually. There we go. Okay. The, the gap looked too big. I guess I was just thinking too much on regular Bomberman's things. I got an L. I don't know what it is. What's this place? Well, there's a lot of shiny things. Bomberman, look at that! BHB Army Secret Weapon Gravity Generator! How convenient of the subtitle to tell us exactly what that was. This must be what Lilith was talking about. If we destroy that machine, maybe we can get out of here. But it looks like that glowing barrier is in the way. There must be some kind of control for it around here somewhere. <laughs> eh, eh, eh. You're wrong. There's no control. Uh-oh, Pommy has a bad feeling about this. Mew Mew! And another thing is disabled our remote control, by the way. Which is, I, I have a bad feeling that that's going to become a recurring trend of, oh, let's, how do we have difficult things? Oh, I know, let's just remove a sense of control that the player gains. That's not a good sign. It is not. Because that means that in this game, Hudson decided that a proper way of leveling difficulty was making it so that players had less control instead of actually making giving them fair challenges for what they're used to. And I don't know, that doesn't sit too well with me. I would like to have a challenge that is actually that lets me get used to the mechanics that I've been used to as opposed to suddenly taking one of those mechanics away. Like this, this is actually a pretty good challenge. It's like... Uh-oh. Wait. Oh. 
Oh, okay. I was like, Iowa, can you need to, like this, because I need to bomb jump over there, but you can just kick... I, that's actually a good tutorial to t kind of teach you, like, oh, hey, you can just kick bombs across these one gap, one tile gap holes. Now I know that. That's a good tutorial. It taught me what I need... It taught me something I needed to know in a good way. Good job. And now I blew this up. So, yeah. I... Like, I, I don't want to be too negative. I do remember liking this game, even though I never beat it. But, like... There is some... There are some weird qualities to it that it's like... Why did they do this? Why would, did they think that this was a good design? Anyways, the lost planet Alcatraz has been freed from the sh grip of the BHB army. Well, that happened. Way to go, Bomberman! I did it. Without any Pommy help, because Pommy sucks. I don't even know what he can do in two-player. He might be able to plant bombs of his own, I don't know. But he just kind of exists. Anyways, cutscene. Bomberman is in place now. Don't we all love place? Look, it's one of the BHB Army's flying machines, and there's no one guarding it. Well, that'll be a good way to... Um, that'll be a good replacement for Bomberman's random ship that he acquired in between Bomberman 64, 1, and 2. Maybe, that, maybe he got that from Bomberman Hero, the other Nintendo 64 Bomberman game that I have also never, that I've never played at all, and I know nothing about Bomberman Hero other than that, than that it came out in between these games, and maybe it's like the 1.5 Bomberman 64, maybe it comes in between these ones, even though this one's the second attack, implying it's the second Bomberman 64 game. Whatever, maybe we can use this to fly out of the black hole. Bomberman is contemplating this idea. Oh, this isn't fast enough. I don't know. Wait, remember those other planets Lilith told us about? Maybe we can use this to get to them. If we destroy the ga ga blah blah on the other planets, maybe the black hole will disappear. That was some weird text spacing. Maybe it deserved its own line, apparently. By the way, can Barman fly this ship? Barman couldn't fly his own ship. He w panicked at the helm of the ship. Ellipses! I don't know. Barman does not know, but Barman does not care. Tommy Host will be alright. Bomberman's too easygoing, but Pommy's serious. Bomberman's lucky to have a partner like Pommy. Oh, shut up. We don't have a choice, do we? We have to use this ship. Pommy doesn't like the design of this ship. Pommy will paint it later to make it look better. Yeah, you sure are the serious one, aren't you? No, oh, we better hurry. Looks like they found us. Wah. Please be careful, Bomberman. Don't crash the ship. The nice thing about Bomberman 64 wasn't that was that there was no annoying partner character that had to talk every five seconds about what is going on. You just saw that what was going on and was like, oh, this is a thing that's happening. Bomberman could have just been like, oh hey, a ship, I'm gonna get in this ship and leave. And then that would have been it. But nope, we have to have this cute little annoyance. Hmm, so Belfail has been defeated. Is that true, Master Rookie Felth? Hello, obligatory ice person. Lord of the Frozen Wastes, Behemos. Hello, obligatory electric person. Ho ho ho! I always told Belfail his impatience would be on his, his undoing. Mistress of the Sto Storm Jail. Okay. Who's next on Elemental Partners Wiki? Oh! A Tornado Person Wind guy. I remember hating you. Lord of the Winds Ash Tarth. The Astro Knights are the elite of the BHB army. One of us, even if he is the youngest, has been defeated. The question is who defeated him? don't know yet. According to Balefail's report, he is a space traveler who was caught in the black hole, and he has the fire stone, the same stone we need. Balefail went to recover the elemental stone and was defeated instead. 
The report says he wears a white suit of some kind and uses bombs. Furthermore, he has with him some kind of strange animal. Hello, explosion dude. Ha ha ha! Excellent! I was getting bored watching over my elemental stone. I could use a divine version. What? Okay. The Raging Earth Moloch. Or Moloch. I don't know. Ha ha ha! Don't get too overconfident, old man! You never know when someone might pull a rug out from under your feet! <laughs> the Purifying Light, the Zohina. Z no, no, Zoniha. Zoniha. Z Z Zoniha. The a H's and N's look kind of similar. Ho ho ho! You don't say? You're welcome to try any time, Zoniha! Zohina rolls off the tongue. And... oh. The Black Breath Bullzeeb. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Try to keep in mind that we're all supposed to be on the same side. We have more important things to do, like dealing with our intruder. I see you're all here. My knights, your attention please! Yes, master! Your new mission is to do whatever it takes to defeat this white warrior. And get that fire stone. Remember, our secret plan requires that we possess all the elemental stones. You have your orders. Yes, master. A white warrior who uses bombs? <laughs> Perfect. Nothing can save you this time, my old friend, Bomberman. That's a familiar face. The Dark Messenger, Rookie Felth. He is weird. And wears a weird pirate hat. Hmm. The presence of this white warrior is unexpected. But for him to bring the Firestone we've been searching for to us, the fates must be smiling upon me. Still, the plans of the goddess Mihaili concern me. She seems to have manifested in the pirate Lilith's body. <laughs> well, I could, I could make... A joke there, but I... I'll have better taste than that. A mysterious white warrior, the pirate Lilith. Either one would be acceptable for my use on the altar of my resurrection. <laughs> Doesn't matter which I chose, they'll not interfere again. <laughs> Saving file! Well... We have our map screen now. So, we can go to We can go to Ocean Planet Aquanet or Sky Planet Horizon. So, it's kind of this weird like almost a Mega Man and Base style uh map screen as opposed to Bomberman 64 1 where you can just go to any le any of the original four levels until you beat them all and then you can go to the next few levels. This one's kind of like you beat one and then you beat a couple others, and then you can continue on from there, so that's a thing. But either way, next time on Let's Play Barber Man 64 The Second Attack, we're gonna go to Aquanet. I'm, j I'm just kind of thinking, like, if they took the net suffix off of here, this could have been pla- this could have- this could have been Planet Skynet. Mm. That, that, that amuses me, even though it's not actually a thing. Whatever! Aquanet next time! See you guys then!